what's good y'all it's bam and welcome back to my channel so i'm just gonna jump straight into this video the company that i'm gonna be working with today is called af sister hair and they sent me a 12 inch full lace wig and here's some of the things that came with the wig so yeah this is how the wig looks outside the box it's very flowy and very soft and the wig comes with four combs on the inside two on the sides one in the back and one at the bottom so yeah and the link to the hair will be down in the description box down below. So y'all, on one of my recent videos, I asked y'all to comment down below in the comment section cartoon characters with like colorful hair or colorful outfits so I can make a wig with those exact same colors. And she didn't comment cartoon characters, but she commented candies and cereals. And the one that stood out to me the most was m and I thought that was real cute and different. So shout out to you, girl. So we're going to be making an Eminem inspired wig in this video. So these are all the colors that I'm going to be using to achieve this look. They will be down in the description box down below. And I toned down my hair a little bit before I started to dye my hair. So for the back of the wig, I was going for like a multiple color tie dye sort of thing. So on each piece of the sections, I put like four colors on that same section. Y'all go see in a minute. So y'all, this is what I meant when I said I'm putting four colors on the same section. So you see how I put orange, then green, then blue, then red. So yeah, I'm just going to continue to use those same four colors for the whole back section of the wig. But I'm not going to put the colors in the same orders on each section. So you see how I started off with orange on the first section. Now I'm starting off with blue on this section and then I'm going into orange and then so on and so forth. So I'm just mixing and matching the colors as I go. So when you finish with one full section, you want to get aluminum foil or plastic wrap and cover up that section so the um, other colors won't mix and bleed into each other. So yeah. And y'all, the only reason that I'm using this little edge tool comb thing to dye my hair is because this is a full lace wig. There is no tracks in the back, so I cannot get dye on the lace because it's lace everywhere, basically. So that's the only reason why I'm using this thing. But if y'all have like a lace frontal wig with tracks in the back, then y'all will be fine with a regular dyeing brush. But in my case, I have to use this because I cannot get dye on the lace. But I really didn't have to use this thing on the whole sections, just like the root part right here. But I decided to use it on the whole sections anyway because I really didn't care.
So I'm gonna come back when I'm done with the whole back section of my wig because I think I explained it to y'all good enough. Just use those same four colors, but do not put the um, colors in the same order basically. So y'all see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna come back when I'm done with the whole back section. done with that part of the back section and y'all this is still the back section but this is just like the top of the back section so I split that in half and I'm gonna dye one side yellow for the yellow pack of M&Ms and one side brown for the brown pack of M&Ms so that's what I'm doing here So I just want to let y'all know that I really, really, really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for 20K subscribers. Y'all did this for me. Y'all made this happen. So I just wanted to take the time out to say thank you. And I love y'all so, so much. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at Arts of Bam Craft. And my main page is back up. If you guys want to follow me on there, it's at the dot bam. Um, but everything will be down in the description box down below so you guys can follow me and everything but make sure y'all do follow me one of my pages because i will be dropping something real soon next month so y'all do not want to miss it This is the other half of the section that I'm gonna be dyeing brown, so that's what I'm doing here.
now I'm just covering it up with plastic wrap. Any section you do, you want to cover it up with aluminum foil or plastic wrap because you don't want things to get messy. So now we finally at the top of the wig and I split my hair into five sections on each side as y'all can see. So yeah, for this first section of the wig, I'm just gonna do the same thing like how I did the back of the wig, which is the tie dye multiple colors. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna do it on both sides of the sections. So this is how it should look after you're done with both sides. Now you want to cover that section with plastic wrap. Now for the second row, I'm dyeing one side yellow and one side brown because remember on the back of the wig when we did half yellow and half brown. So yeah, that's what I'm doing to the second row right here. So for the third row, I'm doing the multiple colors again, but I'm not going to put the colors in the same order as I did the first row. I'm going to mix and match it. And for the fourth row, I'm basically going to do the same thing that I did to the second row, which is the half yellow and half brown. So when I'm done dyeing this wig, it just jumps straight to the presentation. So I'm just going to let y'all know how I rinsed all this stuff out. So when you're rinsing out multiple color wigs, Y'all want to use cold water only. Cold water only, y'all. Y'all want to use cold water only. Like, do not put your hair underneath some hot or warm water because the colors will bleed together and it's just going to look a mess. So, make sure y'all use cold water. And also, when you're rinsing out your wig, do not put your wig underneath the cold water all at the same time. I like to take each section and rinse it out one by one. And once all the dye is off the hair on each section, then I put my whole wig underneath the water or whatever and then wash it and everything. So I just had to let y'all know that since I didn't put it in a video, but I tried to explain it as best as possible to you guys. But if not, let me know down in the comments and I'll just make a whole separate video on that. But if you made it to the end of this video, thank y'all so much make sure to like comment and subscribe and hit that post notification bell to get notified every time i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next video and y'all continue to comment down cartoon characters or whatever y'all want down below just as long as it has pretty colors and i will make a wig and the best one gets a shout out Pink, pink, can you sit with me, bitch? What the fuck you think? Think, hell to the fuck no. 